In this Grasshopper tutorial, I want to show you how you can make this pattern, which is actually a ruler triangle. And you can see that I can also change the definition and produce different patterns. I can even make this uh, increase the segments of this. So you can see that I can produce different patterns. Let's just stick to the three and let's just change this to here. Okay. So actually, this pattern is a rule of triangle. Wikipedia, you can see that it's a rule of triangle, a uh, shape or form uh, from the intersection of three circles. So if we just scroll down here, you can see it here, which is basically a triangle with uh, three circles at its corners. And we can simply make that in a rhino or grasshopper. If we want to do that, we can just make this uh, triangle and go and make a circle, uh, put the center here, and the radius is actually uh, equal to the length of the triangle, and we put this here, and we put this here. And we can simply just select this and trim it out. So we can just trim this and produce the results. So you can see that this is the rule of triangle. Uh, the rule of uh, triangle is basically uh, as, oh, okay, let's just join everything to that. So we have this. Uh, the most important thing about this ruler triangle is that it has a constant width. So if we just make a distance from here to here, this will, okay, let's just turn off the center. This will uh, have a same distance from here to here. And that is because it is a a, tr a circle which is defining the shape. So if we want to make this in Grasshopper, we have to uh, try to, okay, let's just uh, turn this off. This is actually the a real thing, which you can see here, it is in the center and it's not really hard. We can make this from scratch and start from here. But before we start this tutorial, uh, if you're new to Grasshopper, you can watch this tutorial up here. I will put it up here in the card section. And if you want to uh, watch advanced tutorials in Grasshopper, you can also check the PAR course lessons up here. And the last announcement is that we made a complete new channel uh, for architects and designers if they want to make a website or build their brands. So you can also check that up here and we will not send or upload videos in this channel because we are dedicated to parametric design so if you want to know more about that channel you can check it up here okay so let's just start from scratch and what I want to do is to go to the curve section primitive and go to this part uh, which you can see we have a polygon so now we can just select the polygon let's just use the bifocal and put it up here and now we have the names so if we want to make a triangle we simply have to give a segments number three to this segments number and you can see let's just zoom in and we have this triangle here okay so if we want to draw a circle we can simply go and explode this curve we can make this explode and we have we will have four vertices which we don't need the Last one, and that is because it's a, co a closed polyline. So what we want to do is to go and draw a circle from these vertices, and uh, the radius is basically the length of this triangle. So we can just go with a list item and select one of the segments, which is this one, and connect a number to this from the params menu, which will extract the length of this triangle. And we can give this to the radius, and here we go. You can see that we have uh, this triangle in the uh, center and those circles at the corners. And we can also go to the intersection and to the shape. If you want, you can go to region intersection and maybe just go, go to, again, an item. Okay, we have a list item and we can just have three of those circles and combine two of them. And again, combine this one with the last one. Okay, so if I just turn this off, you can see that you can have the results. And this is the way you can produce uh, the triangle 
which is the Rouleau triangle and the results you can see here we can connect a surface to that and have it. So what I just did was that I extracted the circles, the three of the circles in here and then combined two of them which will produce something like this. Let's just turn this off with two of those circles and then combine those the result with the third circle and have the Rouleau triangle. Okay, if we want to play with this, uh, we have to make some adjustments here. So what I want to do is to play with the triangle and make something new, which is actually not the ruler triangle, but something parametric we made up. So if we move the center of this triangle in the normal direction, okay, and move it uh, and make an arc by just connecting the start, the end, and those points, we can make a new geometry which we can also move it inside outside and produce different results this can also be for a square or anything else so you can make this and let's just bring this up here and start from scratch when we started from the triangle so again I'm going to explode this and go to the curve analysis and use this perpendicular frame okay we have talked about perpendicular frame if you don't know about this I'm going to put a video up here which you can watch about perpendicular frames and we can also type PER and find the perpendicular frame give it to the segments remember when we want to extract the perpendicular frame we have to reparameterize the curve so it's going to be from 0 to 1 and now we can just give this a number from uh, between 0 and 1 so it's 0 0.5 it's at the center and here we go you can see that we have the perpendicular frames and we need the y direction to move that point so we can go to the vector section and use this uh, deconstruct plane right up here and deconstruct that plane and have the y-axis so now we can just move the point MV and move move that in the y direction so it's going to be multiplied we can start from minus maybe 5 to 5 with two decimals okay and give that to the motion okay so what we want to do is to move that in the y direction as you can see here and I guess that we have to give the center of this so we can also connect a point This is the point we are moving, and we want to move that in the y direction. Uh, let's just give this to the motion so you can see it's going to move this one time, which is actually a complete uh, vector in the y direction. But if we want to move that more, we can multiply that. So let's just give this. Okay, that's the plus, which you can see here. That was just exactly of the origin and this is the minus right so I guess from minus 1 to plus maybe 3 is fine let's just redefine the numbers and here we go okay so now what we want to do is to also have the start and the end so I'm going to go to the curve section and use this endpoints to extract the start and the end we have those segments we have the start, the end, so this is the start and the end, and the point in the middle, and we can make an arc. So now we have to connect the start, the end, and the midpoint. So this is the start of the point, the end, and the midpoint, and now you can see that we have those arcs produced uh, easily by those points. Let's just turn everything off. We can turn this off, and turn the triangle off and now you can see that we can change this number the multiplication and produce a new uh, I guess that's a new triangle we are producing based on the Rouleau triangle and if you want to reach something near the Rouleau triangle which you can see here uh, I've had an experiment with that and let's just put this here if we had uh, uh, I guess this radius is the center to the vertices so if we give a 1 to the radius okay to make this as simple as possible 
you can give a number like 0 0.232 and make something very similar to the ruler triangle. So you can see that you, we can also make this multiplication as the ruler triangle and relate that to the geometry. So that's it. We have to change that. We can produce different patterns. But if we want to reach this one, which we talked about and we just showed, you turn this off, and we want to produce this one, it's not really complicated. And what we want to do is to turn this off, make this a little bit smaller. Okay. So if we divide this uh, curve and divide this curve, assume that we are dividing this point, okay, and divide this one from here and connect them together. Okay, I have to draw a line so you can see it. We can produce that pattern. So it's not really hard. And because of the triangle thing, we have that direction. This is going to be simply this direction, this direction, and that direction. And when we divide that, that's going to be easy. So when we go here, we can simply just divide the curves into numbers, maybe 20. I guess we have three arcs. We can divide that, okay, simply like that. And as you can see here, we have uh, like three groups of 28 points, which means this is the first group. We can say it like that. This is the second group, okay, and this is the third group. And if you want to just uh, erase those zeros, you can simplify the output. We have talked about this in the flatten graph section. Okay, so you can also watch that tutorial up here. I will put the flatten graph tutorial. So in another tutorial, we talked about a, a great tool in the tree section, which was relative item. I guess that you can also watch that tutorial to know what happens about relative item and those things. So check it out, but for those who don't know, so let's just give this to the tree. And remember, you have to simplify things so that zeros go, and we have 0, 1, 2, and 2, 28 uh, in each group. Okay, so what we want to do is to offset this. We've talked about this, uh, but the best way, we can just click on this set text and say plus one, okay? So if you don't know, watch that tutorial. We've talked about this. We say that we want to connect each group with relative item from the next group. So this group is going to be with related to this group. So we have this one and this one. This group is going to be related to this group, and this group is going to be related to that group, okay? And we have to go to the offset, set the text to plus one, and we have to wrap the paths because we have to uh, we want all of them to connect, so let's just make this the true. And we have the item A and item B. So we can just connect a line to the group of those points, and that's it. So you can see how easy it is to produce that uh, ruler triangle with a pattern, and we can now simply just change those parameters. Let's just turn that here. You can see we can increase the divisions. You can see it's something similar to that emerging in the center. And again, we can just change this to 4 and go to minus. You can see that this is also producing some patterns here, which is beautiful. But this is not really related to the ruler triangle, but you can see it, you can produce patterns with that. You can increase the number of the segments. And... We can change this number again and again. Please like this video and comment on it. And thank you for watching. See you next time.